Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now, we're gonna be taking a look at to see how the iPhone SE has handled the latest developer beta of iOS 14, developer beta 7. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure hit that subscribe button with notifications enabled to stay up to date with all the new content just like this. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now, iOS 14 Developer Beta 7 released to all registered developers last Thursday, bringing several wallpaper changes and many bug fixes, such as a fix for the incorrect AirPods Pro connection notification text and missing significant location settings. iOS 14 Developer Beta 7 has been just fine with overall performance while running on my iPhone SE. I really haven't noticed any difference when compared to Beta 6. Now, luckily, iOS 14 Beta 6 ran just fine as well. Apps open up fairly quickly, web pages load up pretty fast, and most games run really well, etc. Now animations have also been excellent. While running iOS 14 Beta 7 on my iPhone SE, I haven't noticed any major stuttering or any lag spikes. Now this also remains largely unchanged when compared to Beta 6. RAM management has also been great, especially when you take in this device's age and the fact that it has 2GB of RAM, compared to 4 or 3GB on newer iPhones. Now I don't experience too many reloads, which is great. Now before I talk about battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled performance throttling in settings. Now we're running iOS 14 developer beta 7 on my iPhone SE, I have noticed a slight battery drain. Now while the battery drain on this beta isn't the worst I've seen in the past, it's present and noticeable nonetheless. It may be hard for most iPhone SE users to get through a full day while running this beta of iOS 14. Now your results may vary based on settings, configuration, content, and battery capacity. Standby time has also been pretty bad. I've noticed a drain of about 14 to 16% overnight. Now this isn't good at all. So imagine this, you go to sleep with your iPhone at 100% and you wake up with it at 84%. Now is this the worst standby time I've seen? Absolutely not but it is still pretty bad and definitely worth mentioning. Now, a quick update on overheating issues for beta seven, just like always. I have noticed some overheating while performing pretty basic tax tasks on my iPhone SE while running iOS 14 beta seven. This seems to be an ongoing issue now, so let's hope to see a fix by the final release. While iOS 14 beta seven is fairly stable, it isn't perfect. Now we do see some noticeable battery drain and overheating issues in this beta. Now other than that, general performance has been just fine on beta 7 of iOS 14. Now for the main question, should you update? If you're on an earlier version of iOS 14, then there really isn't any reason not to update. If you're on iOS 13 or earlier, I'd say wait until the full release of iOS 14. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier, then I would recommend staying there for stability, battery life, and no overheating. Now, of course, whether or not you update really comes down to your personal preference and what you want to do. When I say yes, you should update or no, you shouldn't update, I'm really just putting out my recommendation. And if you're already planning to update to iOS 14 when it releases, then you should update to iOS 13 now as it is probably the most stable it will be. Now, as always, if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot. It's extremely appreciated. Now, of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter and check out the Ice Cool Tech Discord. Links for both are in the description down below. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.